the Storm Team Weather Lab. KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. Watching a few areas of showers this morning. Now, that's not going to be the main rain event that actually comes later on this afternoon and evening. It'll continue into the overnight hours and even into tomorrow before a strong cold front moves on through. That's going to drop our afternoon temperatures into the 30s, but with the windy conditions, feeling a lot more like the teens and 20s. But for now, we're going to talk about that rain that we're experiencing this morning as we get a look outside in our Seminole Live Skyview. They did have some showers and thunderstorms very early this morning, so there is some punning on the roadways. Now, thankfully, temperatures are well above freezing, so we don't need to worry about any icy roadways. However, that could be the concern for Friday, and that's something that we're going to be watching. But for now, we are going to be watching some of these showers and thunderstorms. They're moving off to the east from the west, and now they're starting to dissipate just a little bit watching this one area just to the northeast of La Mesa now starting to die down. It did have some thunder and lightning with it and some heavy downpours, but it looks like that core is collapsing. So basically what that means is we are expecting this little cell to dissipate, but there is going to be some more rain on the way as we have a lot of moisture streaming in on from the Pacific and even some more showers and thunderstorms off in eastern New Mexico that are going to continue to move on east. Some of these showers and thunderstorms could potentially be strong to severe. We are in a marginal risk for severe weather with the greatest threats, including some large hail and damaging winds, and that's going to be around later on this afternoon and evening with that biggest threat. For now, though, we are expecting maybe a few more showers and thunderstorms earlier on this morning. This model wasn't really picking up on some of the smaller showers that we're noticing at this hour, so don't take this by word. However, it does give us a good idea of what we can expect throughout the next couple of days, especially since models have been pretty consistent on the rain showers developing later on this afternoon and evening and even continuing into overnight. It does look like though a potential line could push on through West Texas later on around 8, 9, even 10 o'clock. That clears out before another round of redevelopment of some showers and thunderstorms early tomorrow morning continues during the afternoon. Also watching for maybe some wintry potential mix up into the panhandle. But for now though, looks like it should stay mostly rain event for all of the South Plains. However, after that, a cold front's going to sweep on through. That is going to drop our temperatures and bring in some more dry air as we see those showers and thunderstorms fizzle on out. So watching what happens when that cold front fully passes on through as we head on into the early morning hours tomorrow, that cold front going to bring a lot of colder air and some windy conditions. So up to the north, it feels like the teens and 20s for many of us as that cold air begins to filter on throughout all of the South Plains. Afternoon temperatures are going to feel like the teens and 20s. So high temperatures, even though we'll say about 40 degrees on the seven day forecast, the afternoon temperatures are going to feel like the 20s and 30s and even some teens thanks to that cold front bringing in some colder air. For now, temperature is feeling pretty nice outside into the 40s and 50s and then we'll be noticing for temperatures this afternoon to rise up into the 60s, about 64 degrees as the high temperature today with the widespread rain really developing later on this afternoon and evening after about 2 o'clock. That will continue into the overnight hours becoming more widespread and even into tomorrow at, as well at about 70% with that high temperature of 40 degrees likely to uh, be around early in the morning as afternoon temperatures continue to steadily drop. Friday morning, watching that potential for some icy roads as temperatures in the morning will be well below freezing. Yeah, we'll be tracking that, of course. We don't want a repeat of the situation we had last week with those ice conditions, so be sure to plan ahead. Yeah.